What we're going to be making today is we're going to be making an angel for my Christmas tree and it's going to be made out of safety pins or um, and some beads, some wire, some pom-poms. So what we're going to do first is you're going to need nine safety pins and you're going to need five beads to go on that safety pin. And I have the ones I'm going to put on there so I'm just going to get them ready and I'll bring you back. What we're going to do is we're going to get our safety pin ready and all these little beads have little holes in them so we just take it and now you can do whatever pattern you like. Just fill up the safety pin with a bead. And you want to make sure that the bigger things are down by where it closes. That is an important part of it as it gives it its dress shape. So once we have it on, we're just going to close it up. And you might have to pinch a little hard. But once you get it on, there you have it. So I'm just going to get them ready and you'll need the wire and the wire cutter for the next part. So you want to get nine of them. So once you have your nine safety pins or bobby pins or whatever you call them, you're going to get wire and what you're going to do is you're actually going to take the safety pins and you're all, going to put them on the wire all the same path way. You're not going to like say if this one's in with the or, um, empty stick towards you. You're not going to put one on here, say, with the beads towards you. You're going to go in the same pattern and you're going to put all nine on. And I'll bring you back once I have mine on the uh, wire. So we have them, all nine of them on. And as you can see, it starts to form a cute little uh, circle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take um, another piece of wire and some beads. So we have, I think I have six light white or um, dark white or whatever and six light um, pink and what the purpose of the beads is is we're going to take a the wire we're going to start off here we're going to place a bead in here then we're going to go to the next pin which is right here then we're going to put another bead in here and then we're going to grab the other pin And we're going to keep doing that until we uh, have the whole thing done. So I'll just bring you back and show you once we have that done. As you notice, the uh, further you get with the beads and the um, safety pins, the more it's taking a cone shape and that will be the bottom of her dress. So we're just going to finish it off and I'll bring you back. Okay, now that we got them all done up, what we can do now is we're just going to pull it tight and then we're going to wrap this around. And that's basically to give it its form of the dress shape. And we're going to pull it. And then we're going to twist it just where it's together. And as you notice, it is that cone shape. And once we pull this together, we're going to tie that up as well. And then it'll be look a little bit better for sure. And you're going to have to push down on it a little bit when you're fastening it, but once you hold down, you got it. And you're going to cut all the excess wire off once you tie it up. So I'm just going to get my wire cutters and cut that off. What we're now going to do is we're going to take the wire cutters and we're just going to cut it off right here. And then once we put the pom-pom, that's what we're going to put a pom-pom in the middle pom-pom right here for the body. It'll cover that up so we don't have to worry about that or the fact that you can see it. And we're going to cut this one off as well at the bottom. So once you cut it off, you're just going to take your little wire cutters and you're just going to pull it out of the way for no one can see it. So there we have the dress made. So I'm just going to heat up the glue gun because we're going to need that to glue her um, pom-pom body on. Then we're going to make her some pipe cleaner arms. We're going to 
put the head on right here, which is right here. I have a little wooden head. And then once we have our little head on, we're going to make our arms and we're going to get her ready. It's now time to get the uh, pom-pom. So we're going to take the pom-pom. We're going to apply some glue right to here. And then we're going to glue it on. And this is going to represent the body of the little uh, angel or whatever you want to call it. And we're just going to put it on there. And I'm just going to hold it down for it sticks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the pipe cleaner and we're going to cut it into a little piece for its arms and I'll bring it back and show you. So I now have a piece of uh, pipe cleaner and what we're going to do to make the arms is we're just going to take the end of the pipe cleaner we're going to put it in that bead and, oops. the bead had a mind of its own for a minute there so we're going to put that end in then we're going to take that end and we're going to put that end in as well so what it's going to look like is we're going to put that on its body we're going to dab a little dab of glue back there for it stays right here and we're also going to put the head on now so we're going to fill that spot with lots of glue we're going to take the wooden head and we're just going to sit it down in there and we're going to take a smaller pom-pom and we're going to use pink and the only reason we're using pink is So I had to charge up my camera, died a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is now that it needs its head, I was going to use this pink pom pom, but it's kind of small, so I'm going to use the white one instead, and it's going to look like a hat. So I'm just going to get my glue gun, and we're going to put some glue on the top of her head. And we're just going to put that down. And I'm just going to hold it there until it dries, which is probably about 30 seconds. So I'll just bring you back once it's dry. Once the head dries, this is what she's going to look like. Now, you can leave it like that, or you can, if you have this mesh, you can take a piece and bend it, and I'll show you how to do that. We're just going to grab the scissors. And we're going to cut a piece, probably about that long, maybe about four inches long. And how we're going to make it look like wings. Whoops, thought it was cut. So we're just going to move that. And what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to bend it like a fan. Like, do you remember when you were younger and you made fans to cool yourself off or whatever the case might be we're just going to do that and we're going to continue to do this piece and I'll just bring you back once we have it done so we have it all bent so what we're going to do now is we have a piece of silver pipe cleaner that I'm going to use to make a halo and we're going to feed a piece through this one and you're going to want to go through the holes and to make it even because if I left it like that it wouldn't be even so what we're going to do is we're just going to bend the pipe cleaner and come through the other side right next to it and I'll make an evener bow and I'm just going to twist that at the bottom there's a little fray piece right here that I'm just going to cut off so what we're going to do now so we're going to have that come up the back, just like that, for we can put the hot glue there instead of on here, because if we put it on there, it will melt it. So we're going to take her, I'm just going to put a little piece of glue on the back. And you're going to want to make sure you get it on the pipe cleaner and not the mesh or whatever you want to call it. 
And we're just going to hold that there until it dries. And I'll bring it back. Now when we flip it over to the back, you're going to notice there's a little extra piece of hair or a ribbon or a pipe cleaner or whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to cut that off. Oh, I should get my little arrow on my pipe wire cutters, which are somewhere. When you have craft chaos, everything scattered everywhere. You're just going to grab those and then I'll bring you back. So I got my wire cutters. Just going to get in there. Cut off that little piece that's hanging. Now that should fall off. I don't know why it's not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So what we're going to do now. So just going to zoom out a little bit for you to see what I'm going to do. Is we're going to take little piece we're just going to form it into a circle and once we get it in a circle we're just going to take a dab of glue might as well be right where we join it you're going to want to be very careful not to burn yourself and we're just going to place it down on our head and we're going to put another dab right here. And I'm just going to let that dry and I'll bring it back. So this is what your angels are going to look like once you uh, finish them. So like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.